Hi right. and welcome to Air Santé Air Care Podcast. Today it's a little video about an air handler. What's the difference between an air handler, electric air handler, and an electric furnace? So the first thing notice noticeable about an air handler is that the base of the furnace is higher than the ground. Okay, an electric furnace, the base will be directly on the ground. Second thing is that just uh, under the base of the furnace, you can find a copper piping, a copper piping with insulation, and a uh, piping for condensation water from your air conditioner. The main difference is that an air handler, when you're doing a duct cleaning, okay, we have to make some access panels. It's, it's a hole where we're going to hang up the vacuum hose to clean the inside of it. And then there's a little hole that we can put our whips in to bring the dust to the vacuum. Okay. So when it's an air handler, the problem is that if the client didn't told you over the phone because they don't know about those things because it's not what they're doing for a living, it's important to ask the right question so you have the right information. So the difference is that an air handler, all the elements of the furnace are open to all the junk that will fell that's, that are sitting inside the ductwork, okay? And if that junk fell inside the elements, it, it can create a short and break the furnace. So you are responsible of looking on those things. You have to give the choice to your client either that uh, to do a maintenance okay a maintenance is to look at all the parts and the um, stage of operation to make sure that everything is working well at first before before starting the job and a second one uh, I usually do the second one for free okay to make sure that the furnace is in the same condition that upon my arrival okay so it's a little bit more expensive for the client but uh, it's not our job to go look inside the furnace if uh, they don't pay for it i'm sorry to say that clients but that's the truth you need a license to touch this okay and it's a long time in school to know those things so first thing first we need access panel here to prevent um, heavier stuff to fall inside the furnace, okay? And to be able to look with your eyes it, what you can see or a flashlight in your cell phone to look if something fell inside the elements and you can see it, okay? Sometimes when I open it and look first before I start doing the job and I see that inside just on, or just on top of the blower, it's full of junk. I will take the, the blower completely out of the furnace and turn it around to empty it, okay? So when it's the case, um, it's because you don't want that when the client will start the furnaces again, the furnace again, all that junk will be sent right back into the elements and then create another short, okay? So the way it's working, you need a multimeter like that. Okay, in a house, the current is alternative. Okay, so to look at the furnace, you have to go to amp. Amp is by using the clamp. Okay, amp is with a big A and AC for house. So each element is 20 amp. Okay, so by putting back the power and putting my meter to amp, we'll see how many elements are working, okay? This furnace is working with sequencers. See this here? It's a sequencer. There's three parts on a sequencer. So first, second, and third elements are on right now. And a little over, it's the blower that it's pulling more amp. So if after 15 minutes, let's say, 
it's still at 40 m we know that something is wrong with one of the elements it doesn't mean it's the element itself that it's not working but a part uh, from the breaker to the element is not working and then you have to find what it is and the client have to pay for your work to find that out and of course they have to pay for the part that needs to be replaced but when it's working well like that you have to wait about five minutes to make sure that it's not gonna overeat okay sometimes bad maintenance uh, or bad filters furnace filters will create a, a restriction okay so when, when you're blocking the airflow either by a dirty filter a filter that is only just too thick and believe me they sell that everywhere and you don't know it or your air conditioner coil right here is blocked and you don't know it it will create a restriction so what's gonna happen is that the elements will overeat and you can see those part here this this and this are called eye limits so after that it's overeating those are like on and off breaker but automatic okay so when it's overeating it will trip the fan will cool it down when it's cold enough it will come back okay so it can do that a thousand times you're never gonna notice it okay so i think that's enough for this one that's not everything that i wanted to talk about uh, i didn't want to explain everything about the furnace i just wanted to know the base and the difference between an air handler and a regular electric furnace okay so look at this video and if you have any question call the number on the website uh, you can leave a message uh, an email i will be happy to answer all of your questions and I might see you in a new video soon. Thank you, have a good day.